think that they're straight to the story, the same thing about uh, about five Abdul, months. Abdul, okay. Abdul, Abdul. Yeah. Why you don't answer the question? You are the one who mentioned something silly in the Bible. That's mean. You believe that dragons are fairy tale story. Okay, so ask the question. Do you believe five comes is a fairy tale story? Abdul, Abdul, I'm asking you. Do you believe? Is it? Believe I will give you my answer. I will give you my answer. I am the one who gave you the question first. Do you believe? Give me the give me a clear answer. I am going to get you busted. <laughs> give me the answer. Is is a dragon's fairy tale stories? Yes or no? Is flying carpets a fairy tale story? Yes or no? Is it dragons fairy tale stories or not? No, I'm asking you. Is flying carpets a fairy tale story? Yes or no? It is not a fairy tale story, and we can prove it. It is or is not? It is not. No, flying carpets is not a fairy tale story. It's not. It's not flying carpet. Yes. Self-destruct sequence activated. Flying carpet is not a fair story because Allah he said that Allah don't fly my friend. Uh, and I saw okay. it myself with my own eyes. Even I took a ride with it. Even my dad, he used to own big one. I mean Abdul, come on, don't be silly. I'm asking you, you are the one who's making fun of the dragons. What if I show you the dragons from my from your books? There's 99 dragons will go inside your anus. Do you need to tell me inside your anus? Abdul? 99 dragons will go inside the anus of the Muslim. the anus of the muslims and you are talking about a dragon 90 listen listen what kind of religion teach that there's 99 dragons will go inside a little anus and if you talk about the dragons let us talk about it i am sure now you will not want to talk about not only that your god allah he said your god allah he said he will insert inside your anus not only dragons he will insert a chain made of from iron and this chain is endless and he will ex extract the chain from your mouth is that true there's a hadith with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned about the punishment in the next world and in the in the fire where people will be punished and some of those punishments is where people will be punished in that fashion so this is what's mentioned this is what we accept this is no problem for so this is in the hadith this, 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 this is in the hadith not for except the hadith that's authentic Authentic hadith where the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him mentioned punishments for people in the hellfire. Yes, we admit so, and accept but this is, hadith. But this is not. But this is not in the Quran. But so, that's authentic. so the story. Hadith, Abdul. Up, no, no, no. Listen here. Abdul, the story. Is Abdul, the, 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 story, the, story, is, the now, story, the story is the story is exist. The story is exist only in the hadith. Only in the hadith. The story. We, where we can find the story? It's on the hadith only. Where is it? If, it, if it's in a hadith, and especially if you have anything from the, the question, the question is very clear. The question, the, the question, Abdul, listen, 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 the question is so clear. The question is so clear. You are a girl. You don't answer, right? Is the story in the hadith only or in the Quran too? What story? About what you are saying. You said the prophet. He said, and this is an authentic story. Is this a story in the hadith or in the Quran? I saw too, that there's punishments that's mentioned by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as well as punishments. Where, 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 where it's mentioned in the Quran? Where it's mentioned in the Quran? Where, 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 where in the Quran? Where in the Quran says that Allah will put something in your hands? Where? You bring the record where it is. No, you tell me. You are the one who mentioned. Obviously, obviously you do not know. Obviously, obviously you do not know. Confess, confess that you do not know. Do you know? Do you know? You bring the reference in the Quran and bring it. You are the one who said yes. You are the one who agreed that it exists, and you told me it's in the Quran. I'm asking you where. Oh, Christopher, I just said listen. I told you any any punishment. No, no, no. I'm talking about specific. I'm speaking about the specific punishment. Allah will insert something in your hands. Is that in the Quran or in the Hadith? I know it's in the Hadith. Bring it in the time. Bring it. So you do not. You never heard of the Quran saying that. I'm telling you that I'm. I'm not aware of it. Ah, he is a scholar who is not aware. Ah, Abdul. Okay. Chapter sixty-nine. And imagine the chapter number is sixty-nine. That's amazing. Chapter sixty-nine, verse number thirty-two. It says okay. that Allah will insert in your anus, and you can open it because here right now, Allah will insert in your anus endless, endless chain, and the distance of every, 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 uh, what would they call it, guys, the, the chain uh, rings. The rings is like 500 phantom. I mean, this is astonishing, my friend. Allah will put that in the anus of every human being, and he is enjoying such a thing. And uh, so it's not only in the grave, Allah will put 99 dragons inside your anus. Allah will insert inside your anus 
a long, long chain need. And actually, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir. First and foremost, in the in the ayah you find, it doesn't mention that word. In tafsir, you may read from tafsir. In the ayah you find, it doesn't mention that. So don't fabricate on the kind. No, it mentioned that. It mentioned that. It's mentioned. It's mentioned. You will insert a chain in your anus. It's no, 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 it me. Okay, read it for me. Read it for me. Read it for me. Read it for me. No, you, you read it. Well, I, I'm. I'm not from the people. They don't know Arabic. ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فأسلكوا. Translate. 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 How all the scars? How Abdul? 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 How? How all? How all the scholars say it is anus if it is not anus? Why? Why they say anus? It's not anus. You said you said it's not anus, right? You said you said you said. Okay, I'm asking you. If this is you said. Don't you know how to be quiet and listen and stop just talking all the time? Because this is what you're doing is you're interrupting the debate. You're not allowed in the debate to take place. You keep interrupting and just saying things. I want the debate. answer. You said. You said. Show me what it says. Anus. I'm asking you. If it does yeah, not. Yeah. If does. If it is not anus. Why the scholars they say it is an anus? Because there's a hadith that mentions about a punishment, but the ayah itself. So am I wrong? Am I wrong or not? Am I wrong or not? Is it anus or not? Okay, Abdul. Abdul. Am I wrong or it is anus correctly? The interpretation. Yeah. Of the ayah is about a chain that you'll be punished with. That will go from the from from the top to the bottom of the, of the human being. So it's going to go in the anus. So I am I am right. So why are you arguing? No, no, no. The kind the ayah itself doesn't mention that word though. It's interpretation of what will happen. Interpretation is coming from where? The interpretation is coming from. Don't lie. It says that it says that. It says no, it says that. that. It says, no, 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 no. You don't know Arabic, and you do not know. Nevertheless, so nevertheless, okay. Nevertheless, the question, Abdul. The question, Abdul. Where where the scholars? Where the scholars? Where the scholars they got the interpretation that this is will go in the anus? Where they get it from? They are fabricating. Oh, it's an hadith. Ah, so it is anus. So why the hadith says it's an anus? So your prophet agree with me. Now explain to us what kind of God? What kind of God? He will enjoy bringing a human being. He bend him over and then he push. He push. He push a chain. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Answer. What kind of God? He enjoy making a human being bend over. And he pu he pushed with his finger, maybe his tongue. We do not know.